it looks like uh, trainer Graham Richards is looking at the, the hip area. As Canterbury win the scrum. Keep in mind that Parramatta is down a player. And this is um, Chris Mortimer tackled by Ray Price. It's gone across now to Hagen. Hagen holding it back. Kenny drives in and Hagen is tackled midway between 22 and halfway as Ella limps back into a position. Here's Potter. Potter's inside the corner. This is looking good for Canterbury. Billy Johnston was ankle tapped by Michael Mosley. The Eels are at sixes and sevens. Are they shot to pieces? They're not. Not just yet anyway. They're a metre out from the line as the ball is played. It's gone across quickly to Mortimer. The Eels have come up very quickly. Have they come up too quickly? Mortimer is tackled. Two metres out. That's the first tackle. Peter Tunes. Oh, he got a shepherd, I thought, for Mortimer. He's going to give the try. He's given the try. Well, I said it in the commentary, and I'm going to wait for the head-on. But it looked to me very much like he got a shepherd off uh, the man who played the ball. And I don't think there's any doubt about it. There's no doubt about it whatsoever. He cannoned into the man that had played the ball, Peter Tunks. That stopped any chance whatsoever that Parramatta had of affecting a tackle. Steve Sharp pleaded with the referee, but it wasn't forthcoming. Roberts gave the try. Peter Tunks goes down in the record books as scoring it. But if that wasn't an obstruction to the defence, then I don't know what is. <laughs>